Welcome back to the wonderful world of Aluna. And uh, it looks like... I wish I could remember who it was. I know they mentioned it in my comments on one of my videos, I think. But uh, some kind, generous, noble soul recovered stuff from my bones and left it in a chest here for me. So I, I don't know who you are. But thank you very much. I do appreciate that. Stuff will be most useful for me as I go about making some epic stuff. And we're going to start on some of the epic stuff in this episode. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's just good to build epic stuff. And I had somebody that left a comment. I don't remember who it was. It's really not important who left the comment. But somebody left a comment um, wondering when my my building stuff was going to was going to get builded. And we're going to be starting on that today. How did you, how do you make the uh basalt cobble? Can I hit enter? No, I can't. Okay. What? It was something with, yeah, right here. Uh, output. Yeah, no. You could do it with cobble and coal, I thought. And it looks like we have circular saw, which is good. Here we go. Okay, two cobblestone, two coal lumps. Oh, and that only gives you one. Yeah. No thanks. Uh we'll just we'll just stick with the stuff that I got, I guess. So run across the way here to the beach. I'm gonna have to throw some throw some light in when I get over here. Alright, so we have ba -ba -ba, da -da -da. We have the beginnings of an epic building. And I need more torches. So I'm going to make me some of those right now. 40 should be sufficient for the time being. I should probably look at how to make a circular saw. Um, actually, I don't know. Do they call it circular or table? They do call it circular saw. Oh, it's cheap. Wooden. I might even have all stuff on me. Ah, uh, I can. Boom shakalaka. That had better not be copyright. What is that? A crown? Helmet? Oh yeah, I guess that would be a helmet. Circular saw. I'm gonna put that inside of here. Just cause I might need to I might need to make some of these things. Corner stairs. Is there like an outside angle kind of thing? I've seen it, so I know there is. I just don't know which. Oh, I wonder if you have to use the Bet you do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, Let's do like four of them. Yeah. That's why I get. <sighs> I was placed way more than I wanted to. I will need a screwdriver too, I guess. I think. I don't want iron sticks. No. Hello, wolf. We are going to try something here. Move that, place that, place this. Oh, I like that texture. Okay, now. What? Come on. How does it... There we go. Oh, but that runs the opposite direction. And seemingly that can't be rotated. Do 
do I want to do that? I think so. I just... Come on, how do you do this? Do people really go through this much? Oh. Well, it's not quite as bad when you know what you're doing, I guess. Alright, let's get my... <laughs> my wooden axe back out here. And let's start breaking some of this stuff. I should have placed that here. <gasps> no! I didn't... I didn't mean to do that. But I obviously did. I want to place those. That's better. And get rid of this. Now, I don't know why somebody would decide on a beach to build something with all of this black cobble. But, you know what? It's his business. And it actually will provide a very nice contrast to the sand, having this nice, rich black color. Now I am thinking, which I often do, that it would probably be wise to, uh, I don't know, use multiple materials. So like, do this kind of for the, the framework going around and then fill the rest in with something else. Oh, hey, that wouldn't be faster. But what would we use? See, that's the question, I don't know. The torch. There, what happens if I put a torch here? Yeah, yeah, yeah that does not work, it looks ugly. Okay, well I can pull out. I'll throw one there and one there. Oh, wait, no. I don't know if that's going to actually be big enough. But we'll try. We'll try her out, see what happens. The plan... I'm just going to throw the lights in, because who wants to watch a video that's all dark? That's boring. Throw one over here, too. Um... Yeah, let's just go ahead and pull this all out. If I get the base level through with this, which I think I'll have enough for, at least give me a good starting to the building. This is going to be that little door to the office space. I don't know for sure... What I'll use is a floor. Because I'm thinking the floor should probably be something other than sand. I may just go with wood. I'm probably going to have a lot of that. Oh, broke. It's alright, though. Oh, hey, that was even better. I'm learning. I'm learning as I go, people. I could do a cobblestone floor, I guess. But does anybody really want a cobblestone floor? I feel like there should be something that's more decorative. Like, this is the floor of... The, uh... What would you call this? This is like the trading center. The capital of this... Well, okay, it's not the capital. But the... The central hub of this small village's trading takes place here. This is where the, the ship stock, people come in to buy and sell, store stuff here. I may end up expanding this out to the back even, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe put a small garden here. Would that make any sense? No, probably not. Maybe a small pen for animals, though. Like, you figure... Guys come in off the ship, they sell stuff. They might want to rent a horse to go for a ride in the countryside. Breathe some non-salt-watery air. 
I could see that being a legitimate compressed cobblestone. Oh, hey, what was that? No, no, I I will not use stone tile. I've used so much stone tile in my other videos. It's overused. I've done it too much. Slab. Can I make stairs with compressed cobblestone, though? That's the real question. I can. Okay, well, let's... Let's just take a look. Would that look good or not? I mean, we're talking... You know, I think that would. And I could even do, like, a pattern. Where I would have... Um, kind of like a walkway or something done in the one and the other? I don't know. Just ideas. Ideas that are probably horrible, but ideas still. Alright, let's clear out some of the sand. And throw some compressed cobble in. I'll have to figure out lighting. That's something that definitely is going to need to be done. Yeah, I like that. It's... It looks kind of like a brickwork, but not super bricky. Oh, nice. I might do something different for his office. Like, I could see that making sense. The office maybe have, like, a wood floor. I mean, kind of think about it. If you're storing stuff, that means you're wheeling it in and out somehow, right? Like, if you got barrels and barrels and crates and chests and all this stuff that you're storing and selling and whatever that they do in this place, you're going to want something really sturdy. It's going to last a long time with a lot of traffic, you know, a lot of heavy stuff getting moved on it, things like that. So you're going to want something real sturdy, such as stone. Now in an office, you're probably just having people walking in there with their shoes. Um, you know, carrying monies and paperwork. Things like that. You can afford to put a nicer floor in that. Because there are fewer things that are going to potentially do any damage. That's my thinking anyway because I am the architect. I guess I get to, uh, I get to make those calls. Um, so yeah. This should, this should work well. And I think I'm gonna just have enough to get this finished. Now, it probably would make sense to, uh, you know, build the castle in a safe place before you start building places for trade and commerce but eh, you know sometimes um sometimes you need to raise money by doing commerce with people before you can build strongholds and castles there's really nothing to be protecting in a stronghold or castle. Right at the moment, if uh, I don't have anything of value or expense. Let's see what we have here that we could use for a floor. Now I have 58 pages, so there's going to be a lot of stuff. Ooh, what was this? Paving stone. I like that. That would actually would have worked better for the floor, I bet. Oh well, I can use it for a different floor. It's not like this is the only thing we're gonna build. How do you make this? Stone and cobblestone, huh? Hmm. Legit. Legit. I'm gonna have to uh, fire up some furnaces. 
So I like that. It's really good. Uh, blah, 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 blah. An orange tile. Redstone. Hmm. Desert stone cooks into a redstone some brick. I do like the slate. But I don't know where I would find... I think that's a slate material that you have to mine. Let's see. Getting close. I didn't even list it. Yeah, here it is, slate. And you mine, then you get this. That acacia wood's really pretty, though. But I don't think I have any acacia around here. So that's that's probably not really much of an option. Well, let's let's go fire up those furnaces. And oh, here we go. I'm assuming this is some kind of coral or something? Yeah, I can do that. Let's try a shovel. I know, we're gonna find out what it is. Let's get back up here. Uh. I didn't look like sand to me. Oh, that was clay. Clay is useful for something, I'm sure. What? That's... I can't shift jump that? There we go. Uh, da -da. Where's my house? Here we go. Let's fire up the furnaces. Paving stone. I'm gonna use that for the floor of the castle. Castle is gonna take a lot of material. Like a lot, a lot of material. So I think it would be in my best interests to probably start an. Oh, not enough. I was told that diamond armor is the way to go. So I am going to. Wow, 54. Just from the helmet. That's good. Oh. Diamond gives me heal too. Nice. Um. My seeds. I don't know. 20. Okay, that's enough to start. So. Let's split that. 10 and 10. 10 and 10. And we get 40. Which, yes, that is a, it's a very fair, um, very fair recipe, I guess. You're getting 40 outputs for 40 inputs. I mean, it seems fair enough to me. Now, we get to replace all of this material that we literally just placed in the last episode. But I didn't know what I was going to use at that time. Um, I don't know. Like, do I want to leave this open? Probably do. I kind of think that would make the most sense. No, don't do it, Mr. Sheep. Don't jump. Don't. But please do get out of my way. Why, thank you. What a gentleman. All of the ground in here should be this material too, I think. Yeah, I like that. Now obviously, like this ground, I'll just leave dirt. I don't... Maybe they would have. I guess I don't know for sure. But I can't imagine why in a castle you would make all of the ground of the castle be stone. 
I've never been in a castle. So I guess I can't really say either way as far as historically. But I just, I don't really see what the benefit would be. Like, I don't know. How, how would that be better or smarter or wiser than not having, like, just dirt brown? I feel like that'd be a lot better. Uh. Of course, I don't know why it would really matter either way. Let's see. Let's look at the pros and cons here. If you had a whole stone floor on the entire castle, it would make it harder for somebody to tunnel in under the walls and get into your castle because they would have to deal with... Uh, what? Because they would have to deal with... There we go. Stone on the ground, which they would have to then tunnel through from the underside to get in. So, okay, I'll give you that, you know, that would seem to be logical, but, uh, yeah, that's kind of a lot of stone you have to move in then. Oh, wait, that shouldn't have been filled in. And I really don't see that it's really needed. Like, yeah, okay, you don't want guys tunneling in under the ground I mean that makes sense I get that but uh, if they're gonna tunnel in they can do it when there's stone there and just let the stone fall into the tunnel I don't know I'm just thinking here that there would really be no huge advantage to them doing that oh a ghost Where'd he go? He's stuck in the outside of the wall. Mm-hmm. You were saying. Mm. Guess he changed his mind. Of course, you do avoid all these weeds. What was that? I thought I just seen something explode here. Oh, I don't know. Already, Rue. What are we running at for time here? 22 minutes. Hmm. Gotta try to keep these to a uh, respectable length. Um. Yeah. That was gonna be a tower there. And then. Whoops. If that's tower, this all needs to be tower floor. Just like that, and I'm not gonna have enough. Um, is this the right way? I think that's the, no, it is the right way. Good. That gives me enough to finish. <gasps> no! Gives me enough to finish the floor and a little bit of this. And then we will uh, wrap this episode up here. I am gonna have to get so much material for this. Like, this is... On the upside, I am getting a lot more dirt. From that. From clearing out my temporary walls and stuff. That I will be able to use to... Fill this floor in. So that's good. But... I'm actually kind of questioning the usefulness of doing this because like say I want to put a building in here well the building is not gonna have a dirt floor so I'm just gonna have to redig the dirt out so am I really doing myself a favor by placing the dirt here I guess just to kind of give me an idea of what I'm working with it's helpful but man I don't know I feel like it's gonna end up just requiring a lot of extra work later on well either way it is what it is and this episode is gonna wrap up here i think let me just okay so that's all good 
You know, I'm going to throw the rest of that cobblestone in there. Like, cobble is so easy to get. I may as... Why didn't the... It cooked all of that that quick? Whoa, whoa, I'm totally exploiting a bug here. Um, no, I don't do that. What else do I have? Do I have lumps of anything that needs cooking? I am so exploiting a bug. Oh! The bug stopped being buggy. That was the weirdest thing ever. And what makes it even weirder? Is that it just randomly fixes itself. What? How did that doesn't make any sense? That was like cooking on steroids. 33 steel in like one second. It's, that's not supposed to happen that way. That was definitely a glitch. Whatever. I'm going to take advantage of it. That's the way I roll. Um, yes. So, that's going to wrap this up. Subscribe if you have not already. Or don't subscribe, honestly, whatever. It's your YouTube account. Subscribe to whatever you want. Don't subscribe to whatever you want. Like or dislike whatever you want. It's the internet. You can do anything you feel like. Nobody cares. It's actually a huge lie. Because I want subscribers. And I want views and I want money because I'm greedy. No, actually I just want this to become profitable at some point. Anyways, I'll catch you next time.